What's the essence of a protective style if you lose more hair than you have on your head during the takedown process? Hi everyone, I'm Essie and you're welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing tips on how to minimize breakage when taking down your two strand mini twist. A protective style is meant to minimize breakage and promote a healthy length retention. However, excessive breakage during the takedown defeats that purpose. Your hair can never grow longer if it keeps breaking. So whether you're a seasoned OG natural or you're just starting out, this video is for you. So let's dive right in. People always shy away from mini twists because of the common issue with breakage. I've had someone tell me, Essie, I can't make mini twists. I'm actually scared of my hair breaking. But have you ever wondered why that happens? In my experience, nothing can cause breakage as much as borrowing while twisting. When you borrow hair from the other strand, it can lead to tangles, knots, and also cause obstruction, making it difficult to take down your twist without breakage. Even though you're very gentle, one way or the other, you'd experience tangles, not breakage, because you borrowed hair during the course of twisting. The difference is very clear. The twist where you did not borrow is just very easy to take down. All you just have to do is twist to the opposite direction and you're done very smooth, no problem, no obstruction at all. You can already see the difference between both method or technique of twisting. In a nutshell, the problem usually stems from the installation process. During the process of installing, that is when you start borrowing hair to twist. Now, twisting without borrowing, this technique makes a huge difference in minimizing breakage. First off, start by taking equal strands of hair. You know, when you want to twist your hair, you work with two strands. That's why it's called a two-strand twist. So it starts with equal strands of hair. Make sure one is not fatter, you know, or bigger than the other. If not, you end up borrowing hair from the other one that is fatter, okay? So make sure that the strands of hair you want to twist with, they are equal. That's what we're going to start with to make the twisting a smooth seal. Another crucial factor is moisture. Before installing twists, not just twists, before installing any protective style, make sure to moisturize your hair, especially if you have type 4 natural hair. Type 4 natural hair is more prone to tangles and knots. And imagine wearing a twist for as long as 4 weeks and you did not prep your hair before installing that twist. Dry hair can lead to tangles and knots during the twisting process and also during the takedown. So give your hair a good wash, deep condition and moisturize to keep your hair hydrated and less prone to tangles, knots and also breakage because the end result of tangles and knots is usually breakage. It is also essential to moisturize your mini twist protective style. Moisturizing prevents dryness and brittleness, which makes your hair less prone to breakage. Besides that, it keeps the hair smooth by reducing excess freeze and flyaways. So if you always experience breakage, dryness, when you wear a protective style or when you wear mini twists, it could be because you do not moisturize your hair during your protective style, you know, era, <laughs> if that makes sense. The frequency of moisturizing totally depends on individual preference, depends on your hair and also climate. But ideally, I'd recommend moisturizing twice in a week, which is okay. But like I said, it depends on your hair and what it likes. So you can use your water for hydration, leave-in conditioner as your moisturizer and your hair oil or hair butter as your sealant to seal in the hydration and moisture you just, you know, infused in your hair. The takedown process also plays a vital role if you're going to retain length or if you're going to experience breakage with your mini twist, okay? So whenever you're taking down your mini twist, be as gentle as a dove and you need some sort of lubricant like oils or butter or a detangler like conditioner, okra, aloe vera or flaxseed gel, you know, to minimize breakage. Walk from the ends to tip and gently finger the tangle. Please be patient with this process. Learn to enjoy caring for your hair because anything that has to do with detangling, it needs gentility. Anything that has to do with, you know, styling your hair, you need to be very careful. Sometimes the breakage you are experiencing, the breakage that you're looking for, one solution or the other for, is as a result of how you handle your hair before styling, you know, and after styling. So please be gentle with how you detangle your hair if you do not want to experience breakage. Another thing is to trim your ends if it needs one. Split ends can incur more damage. It can lead to knots and tangles in your hair. 
clip those thin or free ends please do not hold on to them because if your hair is due for a trim and you do not trim and you twist and you probably wear that twist for weeks you know i'm talking about four weeks six weeks when you want to take down the ends that are really thin is going to tangle up together and it's going to make the takedown process very difficult and tedious for you so if your end is due for a trim please clip it off it's also going to encourage a healthy length retention so do not hold on to unhealthy ends or split ends as it's going to cause more damage to your hair than good it can also cause breakage which can lead to stunted length by following these tips i just shared you should be able to grow your hair and retain length using mini twist without any problem as you can see this is how much my hair has retained length from wearing protective styles in general and also mini twists Actually, I wore more, a lot of mini twists this year as well as mini braids and I've been able to retain my length from um, minimizing breakage because you cannot totally prevent breakage but you can minimize breakage to the barest minimum. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Support me by liking this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your experience with mini, with mini twists. I was about to say mini braids. Let me know your experience with mini twists. Okay. Also share and... And tag a friend. Alright, I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!